Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. So some quick exciting news. Today's video is being sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with over 22,000 different videos on a range of different topics. You can watch videos on things from eBay for newbies, how to do flat lay photos, how to start an Etsy video, creating a business plan sheet, creating spreadsheets, lots of really cool and different things. And you guys know I'm all about continued education as I used to be an HR professional in my prior career. So the cool thing is, is that Skillshare is offering a free two month subscription to my subscribers. However, it is limited to the first 500 people that sign up. So if you are interested in taking advantage of that awesome offer, the link to sign up is in my description down below. So check that out. All right, now on to the video. So I just got back from two vacations. <laughs> They're not vacations, why am I calling it that? Two business trips, sourcing trips. I recently went to LA and then came home for a few days and then went right back out and went to Denver. What did I do on these trips? I thrifted. If you, this is your first time watching one of my videos, I thrift at the Goodwill Outlet, also known as Goodwill Bins, where you pay by the pound. I like to travel and thrift. One, because this job can sometimes be mundane, you know, just in working from home. And so getting out there in the world is exciting. And then also it just gives me the opportunity to find items that I wouldn't regularly find in my area that other areas offer. So I first went to LA and I was there for, <clears throat> excuse me, probably about, I think like three or four days. <laughs> I can't remember now, it's all a blur. And then I came home for a few days, like I said, and then I went to Denver and I was in Denver for three days. Yeah, that was like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I think it was three days each time. I am going to do my Denver haul first. And that is because I got less items in Denver and I got more items in LA. And I'm just working on processing the LA stuff. It's a lot. So I figured Denver would be easier for me. So in Denver, I picked up probably about 70 to 75 pounds of clothing. I sent about 15 of those pounds off to thread up. If you're curious about that, I talk about it in a lot of my thrift hauls, so go back and watch some videos. So I brought home with me about 60 pounds. Um, I am planning on making a video where I talk about traveling and thrifting and answering a lot of questions that people have. This is not that video. <laughs> so to make it short, I brought most of this home, well, all of it home, the other 60, in my suitcases. You can pack 50 pounds in a suitcase, and then the rest of the stuff I put into my carry-on bags. Yeah, that's kind of it. I'm just trying to think of anything else to say about that. So in Denver, unlike Seattle, Obviously you still pay by the pound, but in Seattle it gets cheaper by the pound. Denver and LA, it's just like a flat rate and I don't even remember what it was off the top of my head. I wanna say maybe a buck 69, a buck 79. So it's kind of just one flat price. It does, volume really doesn't come into play. The first day that I was in Denver, I apologize, this is a little bit of story time, so skip ahead if you're bored with this part. But the first day that I arrived in Denver, I got off the plane and I went straight to the bins and the pickings weren't that great. I probably arrived at the bins at like four o'clock or so, four or five o'clock, and they didn't, they did one rotation when I was there, eh. but I was, felt like I was kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel, literally. There just wasn't a lot of stuff. So my friend Ty flew in later that evening, and then the next morning, the plan was to go back out to the bins, bright and early, but I wasn't feeling great. I think the altitude had kind of gotten to my system and I wasn't feeling very motivated given the day before. So I did not join her. So she went to the bins that morning. She came home with some stuff. Um, she got some good stuff, but some of the stuff that she showed me was actually items that I had seen the day before and they were just like bread and butter items that she was just gonna send to thread up. Um, but it made me feel a little bit better that I didn't go because it was like, you know, clearly, they were just rotating some 
inventory from the day before and she said that there weren't a lot of rotations when she went so my FOMO <laughs> while it may have been here went down here so then later that day we went to our friend Savannah's wedding if you don't follow her she is street savvy here on YouTube and Instagram it was a beautiful wedding we had a lot of fun she was a insanely beautiful bride um, yeah that's kind of all I have to say about that then the next day we went to the bins because I needed to pick up some inventory inventory while we were there so I got some good stuff so this is a culmination of two days of thrifting at the bins in Denver and you know that last day that I was there it got better it wasn't insanely amazing but it was better I did pick up some hard goods because I was just like I gotta get some stuff to take home <laughs> so there's a little teeny bit of hard goods in here I didn't obviously get a lot because they weigh a lot and I was traveling so now with all that said about five minutes into the video I'm gonna show you my haul are you guys ready <laughs> let's do this um okay so I'm trying to decide where I should start the first day that I was there I grabbed these shoes and they are Birkenstocks as you can see they're in pretty good condition there is some like little spots here that I wasn't able to get out. I'm not big on cleaning shoes, so I did what I could with a Clorox wipe. I probably could do more with a magic eraser. I don't know that I'm going to do more. But anyways, they're in really good condition otherwise. Like there's no breaking on kind of this, whatever this is, cork. I don't know what Birkenstocks are made out of. But anyways, these are a size 39. I think that's like a size 9. I'm not sure what that converts to an eight or a nine so there's that uh Ty actually picked this up and gave it to me uh because she knows that I will sell Vera Bradley but it's a Vera Bradley wallet it's new with tags $49 and it's one of those ones that like holds your cell phone and stuff so so I grabbed that um these are some Sam Edelman excuse me excuse me uh Sam Edelman sandals this is like the Gigi style and I think these are a size seven and a half. So they're in pretty good condition. I don't like picking up shoes, but I did it this time. Which on that note, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I will pick up single shoes. Yes, as in one shoe. <laughs> and I don't care if it's the left shoe or the right shoe. There is strangely a market for single shoes. So I have been selling them. I like to pick up Tory Burch single shoes because those will sell fairly well. Um, but I'm experimenting with some different ones this time because I found these shoes while I was there and obviously I would have loved to have found the match, but I didn't, but they were kind of such a good shoe that I was like, well, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to sell it or list it and try and sell it. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> these are all birds. Um, I just put them through the wash. So that's why the laces aren't in them as well as the insole. But they're a good shoe, so I'm going to sell it as a single. I tried finding to see if anyone else had the other one, but I couldn't, so I bought one shoe. <laughs> the other one that I found is Mojave's. Mojave's? I don't know how you say it. These are in excellent condition. I don't even think that they've ever been worn. Unfortunately, I only have one, so I have listed a single shoe. Now, why do people want single shoes? Sometimes for like when I buy the Tory Burch ones, they want the hardware that comes on them, like the emblems. Um, but other times, possibly they just need that other shoe or possibly they're an amputee. I don't know. But those are all keywords that you can use in your title. Okay, next item. I figure I'm doing the accessories. I might as well continue with that. Uh, the next item I found was this really pretty J. Crew necklace. So it's rare that you find jewelry in the bins, but I did. I actually found another one, but the other one, the stones were kind of, they had this weird discoloration on them. So I threw that one back, but this one, the stones are in really good shape. So I grabbed it and I will be selling it. Sorry, my dog is distracting me. I just <laughs> threw something at him so he would stop in a playful way. I have something very lightweight, so don't worry. Um, and now he's back at it again. These I just got for my son. They're, I think they're bookmarks. You like put them inside the book. I don't know. I haven't even given them to, given them to him yet, so he does not know they exist. 
Oh, let me show you this. I got another single shoe. So this was a bu bummer to not find this other one, but it's, it's Isabelle Morant Etoile, whatever. And they're calf hair, like little booties. They are missing the laces. I don't know if anyone will want these. They're size 40. So again, what is that? Like nine and a half, ten. 10. But I'll let you know. Now, for single shoes, I would only pick up a single for a high-end shoe. So, you know, like I've sold a single Jimmy Choo before. I wouldn't do it for like a Payless shoe, if that makes sense to you. Um, this is a Brighton belt, like a vintage Brighton belt. It's in pretty good condition. Maybe this needs to be polished up or something, but I think the waist is a 32, or it says 32 in here, so... I do need to measure that. Um, this, I saw a couple of them in there, but this is the only one that had a pair. But they're from Pottery Barn, and it says Library Urn Finial. I think they're like, they go on the end of, you know, like uh, drape thingies, you know, like the posts at the end, because they look like, where's the camera? They look like that. So anyways, um, they have a price tag on here that says $6.99, but... Obviously, I'll price it according to whatever the market says. <clears throat> this is a body glove backpack. This is the same. T this is the same one I've picked up before. So I don't know. It's summertime, so maybe somebody will want that. Um, these shoes I actually did find both of them. <laughs> I don't know this brand. I think it says Footnix, made in Brazil. But they kind of gave me like what is it called? Horace, Horace vibes. They're cool looking, and then they like lace up. You could probably like tie this around your calf or something, but they're just cool. And there are a size, I don't know. I'm not sure. I wonder what my lister put in for the size, because <laughs> I think I already listed these. Hmm, I will need to figure that out. Okay, on to clothing, I think. Um. Okay, this I am have not washed yet and I need to wash most of this, most all of this actually I've washed or, you know, I've, yeah, I've prepped, it's all clean, we good. This did not get washed for one reason or the other, so I need to do that. But it is a Jamie Sadock, Sadock, however you say it, size large, sleeveless, tank. This is, I believe, like a women's golfing brand and it is good to pick up, you know, you can get like 20 to 40 depending on the style, so... This also, I think I need to wash. That's why I have it set to the side with the other one. But this is Cousteau Barcelona. Um, my friend Ty, Lux Huntress on Instagram, she picked this up for me. She knows that I like selling this brand. So there's that. And then this is the third item that needs to also be washed. And it is an Orbis men's window pane size medium shirt. There's just a stain on there that I noticed. So, okay, this I think I actually meant to send a thread up. So that's a bummer. I didn't get to send it. Uh, I actually packed a thread up bag in the parking lot of the Goodwill outlet and my friend Savannah, she, the day after she got married, she came to the bins with us, which is like amazing. But she took the thread up bag for me and was going to mail it off. So I was packing up in the parking lot, but anyways, it says Calvin Klein cardigan. I don't know. I guess I'll sell it now that I have it. And then speaking of Savannah, she, while we were digging through bins, saw this and asked me if I wanted to give it to Oliver, and I do. And it's just like this little Lacoste polo shirt that's really cute. So my dog's distracting me again. Okay, the next random valuable item. <laughs> I have talked about this brand before, and I've talked about it in reference to Denver. I don't know if this is a Denver company. I don't think it is, but I think it's just an outdoorsy brand. But it is, if you can see this, Rafa, R-A-P-H-A. So last, no, the first time I went to Denver, I picked up a Rafa vest, bicycling vest. I don't know how much I paid for it, five bucks, maybe. And I sold it for 90. So it's a good brand. So anyways, I spotted these in a bin and they are like arm sleeve things. I don't know what they do, but they're in really good condition. And I think I looked up comps on them and it's like 30 bucks or something say so bolo on rafa okay these i actually have two of them so i'll show you the other one when i get to it but they're identical the only difference is one is new with tags and one isn't but these are athleta 
swim bottoms. They're a size extra large, so these are the ones that don't have the tags on them. But I have one with tags. This is... I'm like, did I get this in Denver? Oh, don't remember. <laughs> a lot of my stuff has gotten mixed together because obviously I'm washing and processing a lot of different stuff, so I'm pretty sure I got this in Denver. <laughs> it's a Free People cardigan. It's... What is this? I think that's wool. Yeah, it's wool and nylon. It's kind of pilly, but I don't know if that's just how it's supposed to be. Now I'm like, did I even photograph? I think I did photograph that. Yeah. <laughs> this is super soft. This is J. McLaughlin, which is a good brand if you're not familiar with it. It's a size small cardigan. It's crazy soft, and the material is... It says superwash wool. So I don't know what superwash means, but superwash is super soft. So that's my two cents on that. I really need to keep this in order because after I'm done making this video, I need to bag all this up for inventory. So maybe I'll put it there. These are the Athleta bottoms that are new with tags. They're size extra large, like I said, originally $49. Okay, how cute is this skirt? This is Crew Cuts, which is J. Crew's kids line. It's a size 14, but wow, how adorable. All these like little sequins over all over it. So this I thought about sending to throw it up but I was like no I'll just sell it it's a Victoria's Secret pink swim bottom it's a size medium and it's kind of this crochet style it's like a pinky coral this Ty gave me because it's another brand that I like it's um Desigal Desigal I don't know I don't care it's a size 13 14 it's a kids and you know it's got those sequins that like when you swipe up and down it does different things and then it's got like this metallic blue knit to it which is kind of cool okay this I just thought was funny and then I looked up comps and I was like okay I guess I'll buy it but it's a corona like the beer bikini top and I mean the comps weren't like crazy on it but it was like I don't know maybe 20 bucks or something so I grabbed it this is a Janie and Jack size 3t blazer so I wasn't familiar with Janie and Jack that much but apparently it's a really good brand my friend Ty was telling me or an expensive kids brand so anyways I've been picking it up now there is a couple of flaws on here that I probably could just take one of my moist wipes and just wipe it off but I didn't <laughs> just a couple of spots uh, that needed to be wiped on there okay how do I want to do this I wish my dog would move but she's not moving I also have my camera flip so I'm used to like looking right there at the little lens but now it's right there so I apologize Okay, moving on, <laughs> I'm just like squirrel. This is a kids brand, it's T, and it's a six to 12 month little like swim romper. How freaking cute is that? Okay, so I have been looking up every denim brand lately just because I feel like I've been passing up or maybe have been passing up really good denim brands just because I'm not familiar with them. So I picked these up, the brand is called Enslaved. Can you see it there? They're size 42 and they're men's and they're real interesting. Dun, dun, dun. But the comps looked good on this. Mm, I can't remember offhand what the comps were. Maybe like 30 to 40 bucks, maybe. So look up denim brands that you're not familiar with. The ones you are familiar with probably aren't worth that much, but the ones you're not familiar with are probably worth more. Uh, next is a Lululemon tank, size six. Here it is. There's that. Um, another thing that I wanted to say, and I should have said this at the beginning of the video, is that this is not going to be obviously representative of the whole 70 pounds, 70, 75 pounds, whatever it is. I sent some of it to thread up, and then I did mystery boxes. So if you are on my mailing list, which I'll put in the description down below, I did send out an email about mystery boxes. If you didn't, if you're on the mailing list and you didn't get the email, check your spam folder. So you can mark it as not spam so that next time you get the message. But anyways, I did mystery boxes. I think I did about 20 or so. And I did them as like a combination of Denver and LA items. So some items are gone because yeah, <laughs> I sent stuff out. So if you ordered one, thank you for, 
for ordering from me. I do appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed your box. I think I sent out some really cool stuff to people. It was sad to see some of the stuff go. But yeah, there's that. Okay, um, next is a pair of seven for all, kind, all mankind dojo jeans. So Ty saw these and gave them to me. She didn't want to sell them because there is just a little bit of fraying down at the bottom, but I think I could probably still get, you know, 20 or 30 bucks out of them. Okay, these I grabbed because they were so adorable. They are 20, well, size 26, 27, denim by American Apparel, but they're just these little like hot pants, like a sailor style. I don't know, 20 bucks maybe out of those, I'm hoping. These aren't like anything crazy special, but they're just Banana Republic, the Sloan Fit, which I feel like I've sold these before, and they do have a lot of stretch in them. They're black and they're not faded black, so they're kind of like almost like a legging. There's got to be a good percentage of spandex inside those. Okay, next is this real cute baby Bowden, size 18 to 24 months, nautical sweater. I like picking up baby Bowden or Bowden, baby Bowden. T is another one I like to pick up. Peak is another one I like to pick up for kids brands. And Hannah Anderson. So the funny thing is I actually just sold this exact same dress. It did not take long to sell. So of course I grabbed it again. It's a size 3T and it just reminds me of a strawberry. So this, I could, when I was at the bins, I was like, is this a good brand? I couldn't remember if Mountain Hardware is. Savannah says she sells it. So I grabbed it. It's a size six. They're just Mountain Hardware shorts. Need to get those listed because tis the season. These are a pair of one teaspoon shorts. That's the tag. They are size 27 and they are heavily distressed, as you can see. So I just recently started finding one teaspoon. I was never finding it before and now I am. So isn't that the way the world works? This is a cool sweater. It's a size small. It's me it says alpaca fleece but then underneath it says acrylic and polyester so I'm not sure what part of that is alpaca fleece is really soft when I saw it in the bin it kind of looked a little haggard but I'm glad I grabbed it because when I brought it home and washed it it got better so that's great these are a pair of free people shorts they're a size 26 and again heavy distressing a little bit of a hole there but I'm, some, I'm sure some girl will enjoy life in those. This isn't a brand I usually pick up, but I just really liked this swimsuit. So it's No Boundaries, which is, I don't know, what is that? Walmart, maybe? It's a size medium, but 7'9", so a junior's. But it says Beach Bay, and I just thought it was real cute. Real cute little onesie. Looks like it probably has never been worn. Um, next is a few kids items. This is a pair of tea. No, these aren't tea. These are Garnet Hill Kids. So I pick up Garnet Hill Women's, which is a catalog brand, but this is Garnet Hill Kids and it's a size extra small little leggings. I don't know. Maybe they're pajama bottoms, but we'll find out. This is a mini Bowden one and a half to two year old terry cloth sweatshirt, pullover sweatshirt. There is some staining right there in the front, which I will just disclose. And here is a mini Bowden, size four to five year old floral, little girl's tee. Um, this is a pair of Level 99, which this is sold at Anthro. Skinny, kind of cargo style pants. And these are a size, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, 29. Okay, next is this I just want to take a gamble with. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. Say it. Is it I Ride On or Iridayon Riding Wear? Because mm, it look they try and spell it all fancy. But they are riding pants, like horse riding pants. These are a size small. Ironically, this is the second time when I've been in Denver and picked up riding pants. So clearly it's a thing there. This is a Carmar skirt. It's real short in the front. Like it's shorter in the front than it is in the back. And obviously heavy distressing. It is a size 
26. I was not familiar with this brand until my friend Jade told me about it, or Jade told me that it was a good brand, so thank you to her. This is a pair of Zella Girl leggings. I think Savannah gave me these to sell. They're a size 14, 16? Yeah, girls 14, 16 black leggings. Okay, these, the brand's not like crazy special, but I really love this print. It's Talbot's, the, what does that say, daily short? And they're just real cute. I couldn't pass it up. And these are a size six. Uh, these are a pair of cabbie jeans, new tag cabbie, which I've never found new tag cabbie jeans, so that was kind of exciting. They are a skinny and they're a size two. And they do have, where is it? There's distressing somewhere right there. And there's some more distressing there and there. So if you are interested in purchasing anything from any of my hauls, my email is in the description down below. Please just be specific with what you're interested in buying and I will sell to you directly. There's that. I just had, felt like I had to get that out of the way. This is another mini Bowden Terry cloth pullover sweatshirt. This one's size five, six. And this one's in good condition, doesn't have any stains or anything like that. These are a pair of mini Bowden yellow pants, boys or girls, I'm sure, size four-year-old. There's some wear, you know, you can just see some fading on the knees, but they're in otherwise good condition, so I'll just disclose that. This is a Peak, which is that other kid's brand that I mentioned earlier, size large, which is eight dress with a little tie waist, and it's like a corduroy material. Okay, next, <laughs> did you hear my dog? <laughs> uh, this is a men's Lululemon athletic shirt. The size is on the inside hem here, it's a medium. And then there's all this like funny script in here. And it says stuff like visualize your victory, realize your goals, believe in yourself. Okay, those aren't funny, but there was another one. Uh, oh, and make sure to drink a beer or two along the way. How come it doesn't say that in the lady stuff? <laughs> they should write that on the women's clothing. Okay, this is a Santa Cruz, which is a skateboarding company. I mean, this also might just be referring to the city of Santa Cruz, but I feel like it's a skateboarding company. Size large tie-dye shirt. I just thought it was really cool. It's got the big Santa Cruz on the back. And then I found another Santa Cruz piece. So this one is, it says size 16, which would lead me to believe it's like a juniors or kids or youth, but it's, you know, sleeveless tee. So, yep. Okay, this I didn't look up, still haven't looked up, just took a gamble. We'll find out when I price it later if the brand is good, but it's called Heal. It says Athens Lab. 100% organic cotton. I don't think I found a size on this. I held it up to me and I was like, it's probably a large or extra large because it kind of looks like it'd fit me. If it's not worth much, I may just keep it for myself. This is an Athleta Racerback tank. It's an extra, extra small. And it's got this like flap kind of back, which is kind of cool. This is a Free People Intimately free people, size medium, burnout top shirt. What is this? Oh, this is cute. I had to grab this. Mm -mm -mm. It's an empowered women, empower women. V-neck, black shirt. I believe it's a size extra large. This is a lucky brand, size large shirt with the little cold shoulder, cut out shoulder, whatever you want to call it. This is a free people size large blouse, green, flowy, boho, festival, <laughs> all the keywords. What's this? Mm, I think I looked up this brand and I think it's good. It's Trist by Matthew. Can you see that? And it's a size small, like tie-dye. Yeah, I think the comps on it were good. 
you should look it up. <laughs> this is a free people dress, tunic, I'm not sure. It's a size extra small. And I'm trying to show you the bottom. And then the back is really cool. So the black material here is like a velvet and then it's got this embroidery on it. Yeah, this is awesome. And no pockets. I thought maybe those were pockets. But anyways, there's that. This is another free people top. It's a size small. It's a sweater and it's got this half zip. I was gonna say quarter zip, but it's pretty long. This is a torrid top, size two. Real cute, again, some boho vibes to it. It almost looks like it's size one, but I don't know. This is a Lori Goldstein logo, size one X. Cute top, it's got pockets down here. I, I think it's just a tunic, but it's a real long tunic. Okay, this is just Forever 21, but I thought it was so cute. I think it's a skosh too small for me, otherwise I'd keep it, but it's just this color block knit sweater with a little pocket down here, size large. This is a Levi's denim jacket, women's size small. And I love picking up Levi's jackets. You know, when I'm just out and about in the real world, <laughs> those few times that I get out of my house, I'm always looking at what people have, especially when Ty and I travel. I, I love like looking what, what people have on them at the airport, what travel items they have with them, what purses, because they're usually bringing a lot of stuff with them. And what I've noticed in our traveling, especially to LA, a lot of denim jackets. So if you're not picking those up, maybe think about doing it. Okay, what do I have next? This brand, I think I, looked it up it's good I think <laughs> it's black bead it says made in USA which is always a great sign it's just a guardian wrap style top <laughs> it's a size large grande in parentheses okay this is interesting to find so I don't usually find these at the bins in my area but it's an e shakti dress there it is there usually the tag is just cut out and if you're lucky it'll still say the size and if you're not lucky it'll say nothing and you just have to measure it yourself. They do make eShakti makes a lot of well they're known for making custom dresses. You can buy pre-made dresses like with sizes here but if you have a special occasion and I've always wanted to do it but you can go in and give them your measurements. You can literally custom make a dress for yourself all online pick out the sleeves the cut and all that different stuff. It's a really cool company. So anyways, I found an e Shakti dress and it's in really great condition. This one's a size medium, 10. So there's that. This is, okay, this is funny. <laughs> so I grabbed this cause I was like, oh sweet. It's, it's a Zara, like, I don't know what you call it, wrap cardigan. So I was photographing it yesterday and look at this. It says Zappa, Zappa basic. It's not Zara. It's like a fake Zara. I don't know why you would even fake Zara because it's not that expensive anyways, but it's a size large and it's actually really cute. Check it out. Look at all this fringe, which is like so amazing. And then it's got, I don't know if you can see it, but fringe on the bottom here. So yeah, I'm still going to sell it. Not as Zara. I'm going to sell it as Zappa. <laughs> But yeah, uh, and then I got this 41 Hawthorne dress. Is 41 Hawthorne Stitch Fix or Nordstrom Rack, something like that? I don't know, I just thought it was a cute career dress. Uh, it's a size. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, it's a size medium. Okay, two fun items that I got were these dress shirts. So I'm looking in this bin that had just come out, you know, going through it, a lot of people going through it. And I see these, which, you know, a lot of times when you see new in package tops, they're not always great. It's usually like an overstock of a really inexpensive item. But they had a tropical print on them. So I grabbed them, put them in my bag. And when I went to look up them later, 
I'm looking at the tag, which doesn't kind of really look like anything. It says like Joe Key. What does it say here? Joe Key Alohas or something. And I'm like, oh, what is this? What is this? And then I see, oh, it's Rain Spooner. So Rain Spooner makes men's shirts, nicer shirts, expensive shirts. And so I'm looking up comps, and, it, and when I'm looking up comps, <laughs> Ty is like, oh yeah, I saw a bunch of those in a bin, and Savannah's like, oh yeah, I grabbed one of those also. And I'm like, well, let me look up the comps, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, these are Rain Spooner shirts, which are valuable, and these are new. And both of them were like, what? <laughs> Ty's like, oh no, this lady in front of me grabbed a ton of them. And so both of them start running over in the direction of where we had found all these. <laughs> They just start digging. It was really funny. I think I had figured at that point there weren't any left. So I just sat there and I, in amusement, watched them. But yeah, these should go for like maybe $60 a piece, which is super exciting. Um, that's my haul, guys. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but you know, I gave a lot of it away in my reseller boxes. And then I sent some stuff to thread up. So hopefully they take all of it. When I travel, they tend to take most of my stuff, which is kind of amazing. Uh, my next haul will be my Los Angeles haul. I may have to break it up into several videos because I brought back about 300 pounds worth of stuff. So that would be an extremely long video. <laughs> but anyways, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.